He's VB and he lives in Perth, making super videos for all his work. His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella, of Feral Southern Head. G'day, beer lovers. Yeah, Joe Roll, mate, again here. VB Ed. G'day, beer lovers. GMOs, genetically modified crops. What do you know about them? Well, up till now, I haven't really uh, delved much into it. I just see food as food. You know, food consists of calcium, potassium, starch. So when food goes through your stomach, it just gets broken down into its basic elements. That's the way I used to see food. But a lot of people get very hysterical over GMO, genetically modified food. So I thought I'd do a bit of research and try and find out why do people get so emotional about it. You can trust Monsanto with Bill Gates on the board with the great food they produce that kills the rodents that are fed it and the honeybees that eat it. What GMOs are, it's are basically crops that are pest resilient. Okay, so they have like inbuilt natural insecticides built into it. They supposedly have uh, a, a plants that uh, have a greater yield. And all this GMO technology has been developed by a company called Monsanto. Yeah, a huge corporation, you know, for the last few decades has spent billions of dollars trying to defect its GMO technology. Now this is it. Everyone, well most of the population, are scared about GMOs. You know, what's it going to do to your health? Is it going to change your DNA? You know, with all the uh, natural insecticides that are built into the food, you know, you can't wash it out. You can't clean it out before eating. So what's that going to do to you? So there's all this fear. But then, if, you, if you're a scientist, you look at GMOs and you think, well, isn't this the way to go? You know, if you can develop salmon that is twice as big as normal salmon, if you can um, create a, a banana that tastes like a strawberry, you know, that's all pure science. Is this the way we need to go? Like, the population of the world is about 8 billion, you know, and they reckon by the end of this century it could be 50 billion. Now, there's more and more land all the time that's being degraded, you know, less and less fertile land. Uh, more droughts. So food is going to become very scarce in the future. So maybe we need science to be able to give us the answers. You know, if you can get uh, bigger cows, bigger pigs, you know, maybe that might be the way to go. A lot of people reckon that GMOs give them allergies. Or I take their word for it because I'm only researching the subject now. I don't... Uh, I've got no firm views either way. I can sort of see the fear. Yeah, yeah. Is, it, is the GMO food going to hurt us, harm us? But, you know, if it's not, why not? Now, this is where Monsanto is going to get unstuck. Countries all over the world want compulsory labelling of food. They want to know if they're eating GMO food. Now, if food is labelled GMO, are you going to eat it? <laughs> Most people won't. That's it. They And they would rather pay a few more dollars to buy the real stuff. So, this is where Monsanto is going to get, get, get unstuck, is that if all the countries in the world start to develop that, there's no demand for their GMO food because no one will want it. Okay, so what's your opinion about GMOs? Would you eat it? You got any views about it? 